let's have a look at TMS FNC Web Sockets, our new member in the TMS FNC Components Studio. The mission of the TMS FNC WebSocket product is to help Delphi developers to add real-time communication capabilities in native as well as web applications. Therefore, we developed two new components, which is first of all the TMS FNC WebSocket client component and also the TMS FNC WebSocket server component. These two components will work in the VCL framework, in FireMonkey framework using applications and also uh, this can be used from a TMS WebCore web client application. And with these frameworks we can target the Windows, iOS, macOS, Android, Linux uh, operating system as well as of course all popular modern browsers. What can you use TMS FNC WebSocket for? Various applications and the immediate examples that come to mind are chat or communication applications, real-time dashboard updating applications, real-time stock market visualization, collaboration tools and of course it's up to your IDs what you might use these real-time communication capabilities for in your Delphi applications. So let's have a look at the demo that we prepared using TMS FNC WebSocket. And we switch therefore to the Delphi IDE. And first of all here we have a service application and this service application will use the TMS FNC WebSocket server component. You can see that we have uh, turned the property SSL to true, meaning that we are performing or using secure communications with this socket server. And basically from this Windows service we start the WebSocket server component and this will uh, deal with all the communication with two clients that we developed. We developed a client as a WebCore web client application and we also developed a client as a VCL application. Let's uh, first have a look at the WebCore client. In the WebCore client we have the WebSocket client component and we have our WebGrid component. What we basically will do is um, upon launching the application and making a connection to the FNC socket server we will um, obtain content of a grid as well as the dimensions of the grid. We request this from the socket server and this is the response that we get if we receive the table content message. The table content message contains the number of rows and columns and also contains the data for the grid and we load the grid with this data. When some other application that is also connected to our grid uh, socket service, um, it can send update cell commands and as such other applications listening to this socket server will receive the update cell command. And with the update cell command comes also the data for a cell and the column and row for the cell that needs to be updated. And what we do is basically update our grid with the information that comes in. And uh, at the same time, when we uh, change a value in the grid through the user interface of the web client application, then we send a message to the WebSocket server and we basically send a JSON object that contains the row and column of the cell as well as the cell value. But it will become clear if we run this application and have a look. So this is the WebCore client application and we are now connecting to the WebSocket server. And you can see that the dimensions of the grid have been updated and one cell value has already been set. Well, this is of course just a single client application. It becomes more interesting when we launch a second instance 
and also connect this uh, in the second instance to the um, same socket server. So both web client applications are now connected. This could, of course, also uh, happening when you do this from two different machines. And so now if I change the value here to, let's say, ABC, you can see that in our second grid instance, this was also uh, updated. And if we change the text here, it changes. But also if I change from here, one, two, three, one, two, three, update the cell value, you can see that in the other grid, it also gets updated to one, two, three. And let's now bring a VCL client application in the mix. This is our VCL client. And here we have our VCL ADV string grid. And we have the FNC WebSocket client component. And you will see that in the code, it is very similar. Here, for example, we have the handling of receiving messages which is either the table content that we receive upon first connection to the FNC socket server. And there we get um, the new number of rows and columns. And we also get here the uh, data for all the cells in the grid. And if a single cell gets updated, we are notified with the update cell command. And with this information, we update a single grid cell. And at the same time, when a new value is entered in this VCL grid, we also send the JSON object containing the command update cell, as well as the cell data and cell row and column. We send this to the socket server that in turn will inform all other connected clients with the new uh, cell information. So let's bring this VCL client in the mix. This is our VCL client and Let's also bring um, the two web clients that are running here on the screen. And now we perform the connection. And you can see that the initialization for our grid is uh, a reflection of the latest updates that have been done to this grid. And of course, here I can also enter data. And as I'm entering the data in cells, you can see that this gets updated live in uh, the other browser instances. So this demo that is also uh, available, this demo shows how you can uh, do these collaborative applications, communication between native clients and web clients, all from this um, FNC socket server and socket client components. Where is FNC WebSocket available? It is available to create for you VCL, FMX, TMS WebCore applications, and uh, you can run the clients on Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, Linux, and the web. The server applications, which can handle both HTTP and HTTPS uh, communication. Uh, this can be used from Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. TMS FNC WebSocket is available standalone, but it is also available from TMS FNC Component Studio or at our TMS All Access Bundle. And it is available for your usage from Delphi XC7 to Red Studio, the latest version 11.2 at this time. Have a look on our website, download our free and fully functional trial version and open up uh, a lot of new development capabilities for your applications with TMS FNC WebSocket.